All right, so again, we're covering an, another Common Core standard uh, based on the New York State test to get you ready for any quiz they might throw at you. Here they're asking you, um, what number is 760? A nice large number. And we have four choices. So this is really a question about something called place value. It basically tells us that every time you put your number in a new place, you get a new value. Let's try an example. Let's say I have the number 5, and I just write 5. Well, that means I have 5 of something. Let's say 5 pizzas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But what if I put a 1 and then a 5? Well, now, right, we put a 1 here. That's in a different place than the 5. That doesn't just mean six pizzas. It means, well, this one means ten pizzas, two, three, right? Ten whole pizzas, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then five more, one, two, three, four, five. So altogether, this is called 15 pizzas, right? And then if I switch the numbers around, and, and here I get 51, now this 5 and the 1's in a new place, a new location, right? The 5 is over here. Now this means you have 50 pizzas, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oops, let me fix this group. We have ten, 5 groups of 10, right? 50 pizzas, 3, 4, that's 10 pizzas right there. But we have 50, so let's copy this. Copy and paste, that's 20. Keep going, 30. 40, and 50, right? And then, well, this, this one over there just means one little pizza. So now we have 51 pizzas just by moving the numbers around, much larger than the 15 pizzas over here, or the five pizzas over there, right? The place you put a number really matters. And if I had, if I had gone even further, and written, let's say, like something like this, 511. This would mean I have five hundredths, right? And this is a one, even though it's sloppy. This means you have one ten, and this is you have one one. So the numbers in this place are always going to represent hundred, the amount of hundreds you have. These will always represent the amount of tens you have, and this number always represents the numbers of ones you have. Just like in these other examples, right? This is five tens, five tens, and this is one one, just as you can see right here, one one. We call that a unit value. Cool word for that. Here, this means something different, right? Now you have not five tens, but one ten, and five ones, right? Or five is the unit value, and here we just have five ones. So this is going to help us solve this problem, especially this example, hundreds, tens, and ones. So this number says you have seven hundreds, so we need a seven. And then 60. Well, 60 means six tens, and the tens place is right after the hundreds place, so we put a seven and then a six. And there's nothing else, so it's just seven, six, and then zero. Seven hundredths, right? Seven hundredths. And then six tens. And then there are zero ones, right? There are no other numbers. So the answer here is C. But what about the other ones? Let's just look at them because you should always be aware of what else they might ask you. The other choice they gave here for B is seven, zero, six. Well, that's something different, right? That means seven hundredths, zero tens, all right, and then six, so six ones. So this would be seven hundred and six, right? Just six more than seven hundred, so that's out. A says seven and a six. Well, that seven means seven tens, right? Seventy-six and then six ones. That's what the place value means right there. That's not what we need. We we need hundreds. Here, this one, seven zero zero six. Let's clear the board off for that one. That's a fun one. We have seven zero zero six. And the comma they give you a little comma. 
that usually tells you that the first number over here is the number of thousands, much bigger, ten times bigger than tens, right? This means you have seven thousands, zero hundreds, and zero tens. We don't have any hundreds or tens, and then six ones. So, oops, six ones. So this number is not, there's actually no hundreds here. The seven doesn't represent hundreds. It's in a different place. If it was here, it would represent 700, but it doesn't. It's moved over here. So it's in the thousands place. That's, that's what place value really is all about. When you move a, a number, or you can call it a digit, right, number or digit, in a different spot, it has a different value. Thanks a lot.